After over two years of direct experimentation, developed based on efforts of past and current neuroscientists, the scientific journal Cell has published our paper, Acute Cannabinoids Impair Working Memory Through Astroglial CB1 Receptor Modulation of Hippocampal LTD. There are two types of brain cells, neuron and gnus cells. It is no cannabinoid type 1 receptor exists in neurons. Our research, however, provides the first evidence demonstrating cannabinoid type 1 receptor also exists in endocrine cells. And more interestingly, this activation weakness memory through modulation of neuronal synaptic plasticity. The presence of CB1 in astroglial cells has been debated for a long time and therefore some years ago I decided to delete CB1 in mice specifically in this type of cells. Therefore we crossed the CB1 flux mice with uh, uh, GFP, GFAP CRE uh, expressing mice and we analyzed the behavior and the response to THC of these animals. This research was accomplished by 17 neuroscientists in 10 different labs from five countries throughout North America, Europe, and Asia. There was a strong desire to develop this theory and research as a scientific community with individuals from across the world with different education and specialties coming together in the pursuit of scientific discovery. We use the in vivo electrophysiology techniques and determine the exogenous cannabinoids induce LTD in the same region of the hippocampus. Study were done using anesthetized rats and mice and as well as freely moving rats. From here, we employed the various pharmacological study, including unitized receptor antagonists and peptides, as well as in experimenting with knockout models in tandem with electric physiology developed the overall mechanism by which this LTD occurs. Exogenous cannabinoids enter the CA1 region of the hippocampus and bind to astroglial CB1 receptors, which causes glutamate buildup in the extrasynaptic area. These bind to NR2B-containing NMDA receptors which in turn causes amperoreceptor endocytosis that leads to long-term depression and ultimately working memory impairment. In the behavioral part of this study, we assess the effect of THC on both neuronal and astroglial CB1 mutant mice. Using a working memory protocol, we saw that THC was able to uh, impair the, uh, working memory performance on both wild-type and neuronal CB1 mutant, but not on astroglial CB1 mutant mice, meaning that astroglial CB1 are necessary for the THC-induced working memory impairment. So beyond the data we received from electrophysiological studies as well as behavioral studies, we also employed immunohistochemical studies as well as biochemistry methods in order to fully piece together this three-pronged mechanism that we discovered that is in fact astroglial CB1 receptors, NR2B containing NMDA receptors, as well as amperoreceptor endocytosis. And these three have been found by us in both exogenous cannabinoid induced LTD as well as working memory impairment. We have many ideas of where to take this research into the future and we really hope you enjoy the paper. Thank you.